Club 41? Have been ever since I won it from the original owner in a dart tournament a few years back. Poor old guy never knew what hit him. And by hit him you mean... A dart! Right in the old noggin! Ouch. Occupied! Sorry. Dig my hook into that. I don't know where it's been. I wonder what happened to Murray. <laughs> yeah. my name, kid. Can I see those three-foot trial things again? Can't get enough of them, huh? That is the second largest monkey head I have ever observed. Oh, we can't even get my catchphrases right. Is that supposed to be you? None other. Now you and your friends can relive the trial of the century while lounging around in this comfortable polyblend t-shirt, emblazoned with the iconic image of yours truly, a crusading attorney bringing his no-holds-barred brand of justice to Flotsam Island. Mm, on second thought, say no more. What are you doing out here? Shouldn't you be prepping for trial? Hey, no offense, kid, but the day old Stan can't beat you in open court with one wildly flapping arm tied behind his back is the day I haul my corpus juris back to Jambalaya Island for the full restitutio and integrum. Know what I mean? Not really. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, all right. Looks like someone's finally getting around to cleaning the carpet that got, um, stained during my bar fight. Turn to court to defend my client. All righty then. Let's find Judge Grindstump. The pirate court of Flotsam Island is. Yes, yes. Get on with it. I'd like to recall Captain Doro to the stand. Can someone pull Doro out of his cell? The court would like to remind Captain Doro that he is still under oath. See. Captain Dora, what can you tell me about this map? Objection! Defense Exhibit 42, Your Honor. This is the map the witness used to find his Dark Ninja Dave Power Pirate. I'll allow it! But shut your eternally flapping mouth, you festering chum hole! Continue. I purchased this map at eBay six months ago from a traveling salesman with a plaid jacket and waving arms. He said that it was an authentic Dark Ninja Day Porcelain Power Pirates treasure map, but I have since learned that it was just as counterfeit as the Power Pirate it led me to. And who was the dastardly swindler who sold you this map? It was... Hey, would you look at that? I misfiled my glorious Mundus. Your Honor, on behalf of the Porcelain Power Pirates Corporation, I'd like to ask that all charges pertaining to the unfortunate counterfeiting of the Dark Ninja Dave action figure be dropped against Captains Joaquin de Oro and Guybrush Threepwood. Smart move, Counselor! In the matter of Porcelain Power Pirates versus de Oro, de Oro versus Threepwood, etc., 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 this court finds in favor of the defendants! All this justice? Where's the hangings? You want hangings? Just keep it up, you swabs! Yeah, you too. That empty nacho plate is making me hungry.
I'd like to recall myself to the stand. Well, get on with it. The witness is reminded that he is still under oath. Captain Sheepgood, Reapwood. Ah, yes, Shreveport. Reapwood, Greensleeves. Reapwood, Treebeard. The Reap Sleep Wood Stack. Objection! Defense is stalling. The defense will get on with it, or the court will order his name legally changed to Captain Guts for Daughters. <laughs> <laughs> I think splashing hot wax on that would be productive, fun, or piratey. Hmm. I don't think I should be splashing. Greasy enough as it is. And I'm back. So, let me see. Where were we? Oh, yes. No, not that. Your Honor, I'd like to call a recess to confer with my client. Guard, what do you want? I want to see my lawyer. So Again? Make this mark that You're not getting any smarter. It's messed up. Can I have it? Fine, take it. Just get out of me sight. Arr. Yeah, they thought it'd help me get a leg up in the trial. All right. All right. So, Who 
go! Oh, it's you. I'm in. I'd like to return to court to defend my client. Alrighty then, let's find Judge Grindstump. The Pirate Court of Flotsam Island is... Yes, yes, get on with it! <laughs> I'd like to recall Bosun Krebs to the stand. Catherine Krebs! Now oh, remember, darling, you're still under oath. Aye. Your Honor, I'd like to enter this leg-shaped lamp into evidence that Bosun Krebs was not, in fact, scalded by Club 41's nacho sauce. What with that burn? It's not even the same color as my burn, see? I'm not allowing that leg lamp into evidence until it's got a burn that at least matches the color of the plaintiff's well, scar! I make that. Lick. Your Honor, I'd like to introduce this leg lamp into evidence as proof that Bosun Catherine Krebs is lying about her so-called nacho sauce burn. This proves nothing! Objection, Your Honor. The scars on this leg-shaped lamp may look like my clients, but who knows how they got there? I'm glad you asked. So you see, Your Honor, Catherine's distinctive burns were not caused by Club 41's nacho sauce, but by an unlikely combination of scalding fluids found throughout Flotsam Island. Isn't that true, Bosun Krebs? Answer the question, <coughs> you she-devil! It's true. After Guybrush knocked that platter of nachos onto my lap, I saw my chance for revenge and concocted this foolish scheme. Revenge? You still don't remember me? The woman whose ship you sunk? Who spent years languishing in prison for your crimes? The woman whose husband you humiliated in that creepy karaoke contest? What? Oh, sorry. You're on a blank. Arr! Your Honor, I move that Bosun Catherine Krebs's charge be dropped. Counselor! I got nothing, Your Honor. Very well! In the matter of Krebs versus Threepwood, the Pirate Court of Flotsam Island finds in favor of the defendant Guy Brush Threepwood! Get oh, oh, off, you lot! Well, uh, let's see here. Cleared? Hmm. Dropped? Hmm, yes! Congratulations, Captain Threepwood! It appears that you have successfully gotten yourself out from under your various civil charges. Shiver me timbers, Stumpy. I guess I'll be going now. Hold on, what's this? There appears to be a criminal charge on the other side of this blasted paper. Huh? Assault with molten nacho cheese isn't criminal? What else is there? The creation, incubation, dissemination, proliferation, and mastication of a pox or pox-like affliction. A class one felonious act here on Flux. Oh, right. How do you plead? Not guilty. On what ground? The pox isn't my fault, it's LeChuck's! It all started with the cursed cutlass of Kaflu. Off the rock of gelato, LeChuck was doing something evil with monkeys, and I was all brrrr, but then LeChuck broke my root beer bottle and I had to substitute some of the voodoo lady's ingredients, and then LeChuck turned into a human and all this voodoo went boom, and... Well, it's not my fault. Your Honor, the defendant is hand-waving. And believe me, <laughs> I know from hand-waving. But seriously, we all know that the cloud of pox vexing this fair island arrived soon after the defendant and his oozing appendage crept upon these shores. Disgustifying it was. Then, after infecting everyone in sight, the pox cloud magically blew away at exactly the same moment that Guybrush sailed away, stealing Flotsam's only ship, I might add. I won that ship, fair and square. Now, Threepwood has returned, and so has the Cloud of Pox. What a coincidence. And yet here he stands concocting fanciful stories of a human lechuk, voodoo cutlasses, and a so-called rock of gelato. Well, Threepwood, do you have any witnesses to your unlikely tale? I do. Yeah. She's... Oh, yeah. Wonder Bunny. Blubbering belugas! I'm sucking your port! Bring me all your spoiled swags, booty 
Canadian Buddha. Maine? Let's plunder more bunny, please. And you, my bunny lass, step into me captain's quarters and let me ravish your oh, city. Oh, To finally hold you in me arms again, it makes me want to... What's this? The scent of betrayal? Who is this tawdry witch? Uh, nobody. No one. She'll die by me rusty blade! Here's my witness. Then she must be summoned. Bailiff, serve the woman immediately. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, you'd better be using the voodoo summons. That saucy sea hag doesn't look like she be respecting the customs of pirate law. Aye, aye, sir. But first, hold the defendant's pox-spreading keister back to the brig! All right, you. Stay put until I summon your ball and chain. Um, I wouldn't call her that. She... Ow! Mike. Oof! Take exception. <laughs> oh, how wonderful. What happened to you? Oh, I'll tell you what happened. I went to Club 41 to hand this summons to your better half, and she backhanded me right out of the bar. Oh. Ouch. If you want that banshee on the stand, you're gonna have to serve her yourself. See if the local doctor can fix me jawbone. You might just remove the bottle. What the? Ah, oh, ladies' night. Guybrush, your wife has lost her mind. And you're about to lose a limb, you sea cow. Elaine, sugar cakes. Let's stop fighting and work this out over a nice cold light grog. It's her head or yours, Bilge Boy. Or you two can just figure out this little misunderstanding on your own. I'll be over here appreciating my head's ability to stay attached to my neck. Hmm, a recipe for something called a Fat Island Fuzzy Nostril. Hey, Krebs. What do you want? You're not upset about the trial, are you? Why would I possibly be upset by the fact that I hideously disfigured myself in a quest for long-delayed vengeance, only to have it cruelly snatched away at the last moment? About your quest for vengeance? I'm afraid I still don't remember you. You don't remember? How could you forget how you sank me marlin hunting ship off the coast of Snark Island? Or the time you framed me for mopery on Worsling Shars? Unless I've taken too many blows to the head, I'm pretty sure I've never been to any of those places or done any of those things. Well, you may not remember Bolson Catherine C. Krebs, but you can be sure that there'll always be a black mark next to the name of Guybrush Q. Threepwood. Wait, did you say Guybrush Q. Threepwood? Aye, and a fowler name never escaped me lips. But it's the wrong name. I'm Guybrush U. Threepwood. What? Yeah, your vendetta must be with the other Guybrush Threepwood. I should have realized. You know, this isn't the first time something like this has happened. I keep getting his mail, too. It's You're not still upset about the whole hideously scarring your leg in a bid to seek unholy vengeance against the wrong target thing, are you? Ah! Okay, maybe she does. Tell me, did it hurt? Did what hurt? When oh. you fell out of <laughs> pirate heaven? No, I but do. this will. Stay, Stay away from, from Guybrush, you sea hog! Nice. And we have the shoe then. Yikes! Just what I always wanted. An ant infested sack of sugar. Hey, 
Hey, darling. What? Would you mind taking this? Only if you don't mind taking this. All right, she's not happy. Can you make one of these Fat Island fuzzy nostrils? Aye aye, Captain! While you're making that, I'll just... Order up! One Fat Island fuzzy nostril! Heavy on the fuzz. That was absurdly fast. Arr! Libations! Ah, gimme! Able to get any closer to the dartboard with those hell kittens in the way. Hey, Krebs. What do you want? What you gonna do with all that gold? All what gold? All that gold inside your chest. Nah. Stay away from Guybrush, you sea hog! Steering clear of the dart board. And now that I've found me darts, I need to practice before tomorrow night's tournament. Four! Yikes! Cut. So, about this voodoo summons? Wonderful things, aren't they? Every few months, we have that creepy voodoo lady whip up a few of them so we can get our less uh, civic-minded pirates to show up for their court appointments. So all I have to do is get this into Elaine's hands and... Lamo! She'll march her crazy keister off to court faster than grease through a goose! Hey, WP! Would you mind knocking it off with the darts for a minute? Not on your life! I need to get in a week's worth of practice before tomorrow night's tournament, and who knows how long those hellions will stay out of my way! Barkeep, I'd like to order a drink. What'll it be? How about some more of those volcano shots? Sorry, uh, one per customer. Barkeep, I'd like to order a drink. What'll it be? One grass. Neat. Coming right up. Arr! Libations! Ah, gimme! Actually, have to hand it to her directly. Just get it into her hands.
Hey, Krebs. What do you want? Hey, beautiful. He's just speeding it up. Arr! Speeding me up. Yes, speeding it up. A bartender's recipe for a scab island sling. Seems pretty simple. Oh, what was that? A paper. 